plaintiff, Victoria Elzey, says a month after she started dating the defendant, they moved in together. And six months later, they got engaged. Victoria claims after she paid for the defendant's dental work, they broke up. And now the defendant refuses to pay. So she's suing. Defendant Micah Selby was in a gang when she was younger and got pregnant at age 14. And while pregnant, she was shot by rival gang members. Micah says she has turned her life around, but still has trust issues. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Give me some background. I grew up in a single parent household with 10 other siblings. And I know my self-worth, Your Honor. I met Micah Selby last year. In July, we hit it off very hard. She moved in with me a month later. Six months later, she proposed to me. And you said yes? I said yes. Okay, you didn't hear that part. Go ahead. We will always get into it. And Micah is just known to run from problems. She's not known to, to, to basically, she's known to stray away. Micah had- How do you know? Cause she told me. Okay. She said that when things get rough, she just not, she just runs. She don't okay. like to stick it out. All right, go ahead. Before me and Micah broke up, Micah brought it to my attention that she needed some dental work done on her mouth. I told Micah that I had a credit card that I wasn't using and I would be willing to help her only if she agreed to make the payments back every month. Micah told me that she would make the monthly payments every month. So I helped, I proceeded to help her pay to get her dental work done. She needed How to- How much was it? If you look on page one, she needed $4,269 to get her mouth what done. What type of work? She needed it, her teeth taken out. Teeth pull cost 4000 now? Yes. She had told me prior to when we got into a relationship that she had got into an accident some time, some years ago, and that she had temporary plates in her mouth. So from that, she was supposed to get her mouth done. She never got it done. So she had a bad infection in her mouth. So all her teeth- What do you mean by done? Get the plate removed? She had to get all her teeth removed and get plates. All of them? Yes. Oh, let me let her tell me about her teeth. What are we sitting here t talking about her teeth and this, she's right here to tell us. Not saying a word. Yeah, let me hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> she over here diagnosing um, you. I was, About I was. how much your stuff costs. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, actually, Your Honor, it was eighty seven hundred. All right, tell um, me about the relationship first. Um, you know, we 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 got together right the same time as she said or whatever. Um, and we everything was was good, but just like she say, I I like to stray away, and it's not because of her. Um, you know, when I was I, I always explained to her like growing up, you know, I was affiliated with gangs and stuff like that, so I have like really really big trust issues with people. Period, because I've been through a lot. You know, you know, I had a daughter at fourteen. Um, my brother, my older brother, he got locked up at 15 for a murder charge. And so they retaliated, like the people that he, the person that he killed, his family retaliated on me and shot me when I was pregnant. Mm. So I've been through so much, you know, with these that? gangs and stuff like that or whatever. So How that's- How long ago was that? Um, I was 14 years old when I was shot, when I was pregnant with my daughter. And you had the uh, daughter, you say? Yes. And then so like after that happened, I was put away in um, protected custody to, to like protect my life or whatever. So um, after that, um, I had started hanging out with the wrong crowds and stuff like that, whatever. So I ended up going to jail for selling drugs. So once I started selling drugs or whatever, I ended up getting locked up. And once I got locked up, um, I pretty much was introduced to God. I started studying theology. You know, I pretty much did anything to get out of my cell. So um, once I came home, I realized that my daughter, you know, she was pretty much heading down the same path. Oh, let's back up. You said you pretty much did anything to get out of your cell. I mean, meaning like like going to NA meetings, going to going to going to um, you know church and stuff like that in jail, whatever yeah, whatever they were offering. that sounds insincere. But we're gonna move along. That sounds yeah. insincere. You sounded like you did it. To, that's what you said. <laughs> I did anything I could to get out of my yeah. cell, including going to church and um, what whatever they NA. offer. You Those the things you should want to do anyway, not yeah. have just. And I, I basically just wanted to change my life. So I didn't want to be in the same lifestyle that I was in. So mm. when I came home, you know, I did just that. You know, I started um, 
hanging out with better people and getting around good people that Dude. teach me the right things or whatever. And um, and I pretty much changed my you life. Have to move back to the same neighborhood. No. Where did you move? Um, I moved to I moved to Rock. Atlanta, Georgia. I moved down south. I'm from Chester, PA, and it's pretty rough there. Damn, so cousins from Chester. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty rough real, there. Real so tough. <laughs> real <laughs> tough. So very tough town. No, it's by uh, it's Philadelphia. Oh, okay. It's a real tough suburb. Yeah. So <clears> um, once Philly. I seen that, my daughter was going down the wrong path. It made me want to change. So once I did that, um, I started uh, cooking. And then once I did that or whatever, it, I, you know, my career started building. You know the Car quickly. family? Anybody from the Car family? Yeah, I know. I know the cars from the car, Bennett homes. Diddy car. Hmm? Yeah, I know all the cars. Yeah, it's my mm -hmm. direct relative, my mother's sister, and my first cousins. I know all of them. All right. She was supposed to get her mouth done. She never got it done, so she had a bad infection in her mouth. So all her. What do you mean by done? She had to get all her teeth removed and get plates. All of them? Yes. Oh, let me let her tell me about her teeth. <laughs> we sitting here t talking about her teeth and this. she's right here to tell us. I've seen a word. Yeah, <laughs> let me hear from you. <laughs> you over here diagnosing um, you. I was, I was. How much your stuff costs. <laughs> Plaintiff Victoria Elsey says while engaged to the defendant, she paid for her to get dental work done. But after they broke up, the defendant refused to repay her, so she's suing. And you turn your life around. What did you begin doing then? I'm a chef. I'm a senior sous chef oh. at a, at a, a big. You learned that in prison? Yes. Good. I started cooking there, yep. and I got my degree in every in my culinary arts and all mm -hmm. that. And then when I came home, you know, I just started um, like cooking for celebrities. I used to cook for the Eagles, okay. and you know, it started. I basically started having a good career. Good. So now, you know, I went from making. Um, as a dishwasher, I started in a restaurant as a dishwasher, and then I went all the way up to becoming a senior sous chef. That's what I am now. And um, I went from making like $25,000 a year to making $75,000 a year. And with my overtime, I'm probably making about $90,000 Here year. you go. So, you know, I'm very, I'm very proud of what I've been through because it, it got be. me to where I am now. It should be. So um, that's why I really you explained, met her. try mm -hmm. to explain to Victoria, you know, I have trust issues. You know, sometimes it's just easier to just leave the situation instead of trying to deal with it. And it's not because I don't want to. It's just because I don't know how. And Right. There you go. I'm similar to that, you know? to be honest, because so, you don't want confrontation. I don't like confrontation. You try to avoid I don't like confrontation fussing. because you don't do well in that right. area. I don't do I don't right. do well with that. I, I used <laughs> right. to have really bad anger problems. So <laughs> if it get too crazy. You're from them streets. I'd rather from just, them hard parts of the streets. You're yeah. just out there robbing and thugging. That's different than selling dope even. Yeah. Selling dope ain't as tough as robbing. Yeah. So it's not, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it was, it's not all her. You know, it is me. I, I'm not going to lie about that. But arguing, walk away. You're doing the right thing. Yeah, I walked away. Because so, arguing with a person who's from them hardcore streets, she might have a relapse at any moment. Well, I mean, you can handle things a lot of times, no problem. And the other times you can say something and trigger that street error. Yeah. Yeah, she and knows. That don't it's, go it's well. I'm from it's Chicago, happened. so I know. It's happened many a times, and what I do is I just walk away before I go to jail. Good. And I don't want to do that, so Good. It's only that's the only thing. And I, I don't have do. that domestic violence problem. Never have. Never no. hit a woman. Neither, never had the and domestic I would, violence. I never do that. But too. I got an outside uh, problem. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but I, so, I, I'm, I'm trying to walk away from them problems. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna be off TV <laughs> and in jail. <laughs> Go ahead. So I am different now, or whatever. But um, when it comes to us, you know, I did um, on her birthday, um, which is uh, October 25th, is her birthday, and we went out to eat. Um, after that, let's just say after after that, I proposed to her on her birthday, and um, after that. You know, we went out with a couple of her friends and it, it just we sat down at eight and everything. And this one of her friends was just like, like, no, Victoria, let me see this rock mic I bought you or whatever. And she was like, no, like pull her hand away and was like, no, it's not a rock. It's not, you know, like it, like basically humiliated me, but basically saying that it's not the, the ring, not big enough. So that really hurt me. And it, it made me feel some type of way. And I, I just didn't know how to deal with that. You said something like that or implied it? I didn't apply it. I, I spoke after she proposed to me, maybe a few days later, I told her that I would have liked a bigger ring. Yes, I did. Say okay. It. So to me, I felt like she was ungrateful. She was selfish. And That'd I felt like I didn't want That's to be. That's hurtful. Yeah, it was very hurtful. And I and at the time, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to be with her anymore. So when 
Um, the next day, I told her I left. I didn't stay. I didn't stay in the room with her that night or whatever. I was so hurt. I didn't even know what to do. So I had literally just paid. We had literally just paid the rent that next day. I mean, that, 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 the day before. So I said, you know, what? I'm not gonna leave because that's making me have to go pay somewhere else when I literally just paid. So at least I'll stay here for a month, if that's what I'm gonna do before I decide to go somewhere else and live. So. I decided I don't want to be with her no more. So then once I decided I didn't want to be with her no more, that's when she came to me and was like talking about the care credit, you know, telling me that I had to pay for it. When I went and got my dental work done, I came out of the, the dental office and they I tried to make the payment and they told me that the payment was already paid. How much was it? Um, All together was almost 8,800, but my job paid for the majority of it. What did it. you get? Root um, and, uh, I got everything. Implants? Yes, my whole mouth is, is redone. Really? So when I came out or whatever, everything was already paid for. And I asked the lady, I said, well, who paid for the rest? I was going to put it on my own credit card. And she said, your fiance. And I said, oh. And I, I wasn't aware of this. And that's, not, without her that's not true, Your Honor. Tell me how you came to pay for it. She brought it to my attention that she needed dental work done. I told her that I had a credit card that I was not using and I would be willing to Make the payment for her if she agreed to make the monthly payments back. But that's she, not she she, oh. she agreed, Your Honor, to make the monthly payments of one thirty nine a month. When, when, once she made the payments up until we broke up. When we broke up, she told me that she will not no longer make the payments anymore. Use this ring as collateral and chalk it up basically as a loss. No, and I told you her make to any pay the ring. Did you make any payments? Yes, sir. Why? I, I made payments because I, she was forced. She was basically forcing me to. Okay. Like it, 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 it was no agreement. Otherwise, what would have happened? If she, she she told me that she was going to get pay. my car towed out of her the front yard of her front yard of her house. Her property. It was yes, and it, my clothes would be out on the street. You weren't going to move it voluntarily if she asked. You? Yeah, if she asked me to, I would have. I asked you. But if the car the truck's not running, so I have to get it towed. Right. So that's even more money, but it's not a problem. I would have did that. The, the the thing is, I is she that she asked that's not true. Your Honor. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. She said she did ask you to. No, she said she was basically when we broke up. She told me to come get all my stuff, come get my truck and everything from in front of her door, mm -hmm. which is fine. Uh -huh. But she didn't say anything about this this, this care credit stuff until we broke about up. About the what? It's called care credit. Yeah, no, we're talking about the car now. Remember you said she told you to come and get the car and then you later said she yeah, didn't we, tell you to come and no, get no, the no. car. No, 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 she 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 was basically threatening me. No, not basically. Did she ask you to come and get your car from her property? Yeah, she told me to come okay, get the car. Okay, and did you do it? I told her I was coming to get it. And you didn't or did? No, yeah. not at that moment, I didn't. Did you ever no. in the history of mankind? <laughs> no. no, it's still right. there, The honest. car's not running. Right, so all this yeah. double talk, yeah. all this double talk ain't nothing. <laughs> yeah. Take that back to the street. I got way more game than you. <laughs> Been way deeper in the game than you, I promise you. Yeah. On everything. Arguing, walk away. You're doing the right thing. Yeah, I walked away. Because so. arguing with a person who's from them hardcore streets, she might have a relapse at any moment. <laughs> Trigger that street era. Yeah, yeah she knows. And that it's don't it's go happened. well. I'm from it's Chicago, happened. so I know. It's happened to many a times, and what I do is I just walk away before I go to jail. Good. Plaintiff Victoria Elsey says while engaged to the defendant, she paid for her to get dental work done. But after they broke up, the defendant refused to repay her, so she's suing. Go ahead, ma'am. Tell me about the uh, why you stopped making the payment. The problem was that the, well, the truck situation. The problem was that the truck wasn't running. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it wasn't. That's like why I you just... get it towed. Can we get to what we're talking about, ma'am? <laughs> the payments. Okay. Why did you stop the payments? Because I was. I never initially had to make the payments. Then why did you start? Because she told me that she didn't have the money that month for You didn't it. have to. If no. Some, are you scared? Somebody tell you uh, you got to pay me back and you don't owe them? You pay them anyway? No, it wasn't about paying her back. She told me that she you didn't did have pay it. some, though. No. She told she asked. She just asked me for for the payment for that particular month. It wasn't an agreement payment that we made. For what? For the for the for the care for the. Uh, and did you tell her I don't owe you any money for that? Yes, I did, but I gave but it to her gave because it to her she anyway. didn't have it. All right. Yeah. Judgment for That's the plaintiff. Not... She acknowledged by her payments that she owed you. Have a good day. Thank you. I felt like, you know, it was very wrong of you to think that you didn't have to make the payment back when I was nice enough to help you get your mouth done. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have never had a problem with paying, with paying for it. I just wish that we would agree upon it in a different manner. It, it just didn't go down the way you said it did. I, I don't have no problem with paying for anything, but just, you know, that's just not the way it went down. You know what I mean? You know, you know I'm not like that. I, I, I'll do anything for you. 